Unit 10. Tape script 10.1. Dad bans phone after 3,500 texts. A Manchester teenager has received a phone bill for over £450 after sending 3,500 text messages in just one month. Tony Russell has had his new state of the art mobile phone for only three months. But now his father, Lionel, has taken it away. He's been asking me for a mobile for years because all his friends have got one, explained Lionel. I finally bought one for his birthday because he's been doing so well at school, but he and his mates are texting crazy. They do it all the time on buses, in the street. They even text each other from different sides of the school playground. They've got textitis. Tony said, I thought texting was much cheaper than phoning, so I've been texting my friends all day long and even into the early hours of the morning. I've been going to bed at two most nights. Sometimes my hand hurts from pressing the button so much, but I was having such good fun that I couldn't bear to stop. His father said, I have forgiven him, but I am angry with the phone company as they are encouraging this craze. He has made his son promise to pay back the money, so Tony has been working on Saturdays. He has found a job in a shoe shop. So far, he has paid back £46. I reckon it will take me about a year to clear this debt, he said. Tape script 10.2 One. How long has he had his mobile phone? Two. How long has he been asking his father for a phone? Three. Why did he want one? Four. Who has he been texting? Five. What time has he been going to bed? Six. Has his father forgiven him? Seven. How much has he paid back? Eight. How long will it take him to clear the debt? Tape script 10.3. You look happy. What have you been doing? I'm really excited. I've been getting ready to go on holiday. Have you done everything? Well, I've picked up the tickets and I've been to the bank, but I haven't packed yet. Tape script 10.4. One. <laughs> You're covered in paint. What have you been doing? I've been redecorating the bathroom. <laughs> have you finished yet? Well, I've painted the door and the ceiling, but I haven't put up the wallpaper yet. Two. Your hands are dirty. What have you been doing? <laughs> They're filthy. I've been working in the garden. Have you finished yet? Well, I've cut the grass, but I haven't watered the flowers yet. Three. Your eyes are red. What have you been doing? Oh, I'm exhausted. I've been revising for my exams. Have you finished them yet? Well, I've done my chemistry and history, but I haven't done English yet. Tape script 10.5 One. When was she born? In 1960. Two. When was she given the award of Young Musician of the Year? In 1968 when she was eight years old. Three. When did she go to the Royal Academy of Music? In 1978. She won a scholarship. Four. What year was her daughter born? In 1983. Five. Which countries has she lived in? Sweden, England, the US and France. Six. When did she appear on British TV? When she was 22. Seven. How many children has she got? One daughter. Eight. How long has she been living in Paris? Since 1998. Tape script 10.6. A lecture tour. One. How long are you here in Britain for? Just two weeks. 
too. How long have you been in Britain? Eight days. Three. Where were you the day before yesterday? In Birmingham. Four. Where were you this time last week? In London. Five. Where will you be the day after tomorrow? I'll be in Edinburgh. Six. Where will you be a week today? Back in Paris. Tape script 10.7. Collectors. Andrea Levitt. First of all, a little bit about you. Are you originally from New York City? I'm from Wilmington, Delaware, but I've been living in New York a long time, 36 years. I came to New York to work in the fashion industry. I still work in the world of fashion. I love it. <laughs> so how long have you been collecting dolls? Hmm, it must be about 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. So what led you to having such a love of dolls? Have you always loved them? Well, no. I didn't play with dolls much when I was a girl, but uh, these aren't children's dolls that I collect. No? no? No, they're really works of art. When you say the word doll, people think of a toy for little girls, but these are not. Mm. When I opened my business, Dolls at Home, two years ago, that was the message I wanted to get across to all art lovers, that dolls are another art form. I can see that these are not dolls for little girls. Uh -oh. <laughs> Some of them are really quite amazing. How many dolls do you have in your collection? Oh, I would say, uh, I think maybe 300. Wow. And where are they all? Well, I had to buy a new apartment. You bought an apartment for the dolls? Yeah, I really did. My son, he's 33 now, he went off to college and I filled his room with dolls in two minutes. So I realized that I needed a different apartment. I wanted to show off my dolls. So you have what, maybe four or five rooms all with dolls? Actually, there are dolls in every room, even the bathroom and the kitchen. I was going to ask, uh, is there one room where you don't allow dolls? No. Oh, no. They're part of my life. I mean, sometimes when people visit, there's nowhere to sit. It's a problem. So what about keeping them clean? Dusting them? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a problem, too. New York is dirty. Uh, I suppose they should be under glass, but I don't want them under glass. I want to enjoy them. I dust them occasionally. Well, they look immaculate. Thanks. Uh, that's a very unusual doll. Is it valuable? Uh, no, not really. But that doll over there? It has an elephant mask. That's my favorite. Really? You see, the mask goes up, and it's a little boy's face, and it goes down, and it's an elephant's face. Whoa. <laughs> it's made by one of the best doll makers in the U.S., Akira Blount. And how do you find your dolls? Uh, I travel all over. I go to doll shows, Ooh. and uh, now that I have a website and I've started my own business, doll artists find me. <laughs> As I said, it's been going on for two years now, and I have a mailing list of 900 people. <laughs> wow. Uh, what does your uh, son think of all this? <laughs> you know, he thinks I'm sort of crazy. <laughs> he loves this apartment, but he can't understand why you fill it with dolls. Yeah. But uh, two weeks ago, he came to one of my doll shows. It was his first time, and I think he was impressed. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so do you think you'll ever stop collecting them? No. There's always room for another doll. If you're a real collector, you always find room. <laughs> I'm sure you're right. <laughs> well, that's great, Andrea. Thank you very much. Tape script 10.8. Collectors. Jeff Parker. Well, first of all, um, just a little bit about you, Jeff. Are you originally from New York City? No, I'm originally from the Philadelphia area, but I moved to New York about five years ago mm -hmm. when I got a job working for a bank on Wall Street. Oh, and do you mind talking about your Star Wars collection? No, not at all. So, how did you get interested in Star Wars? Well, Star Wars was one of the first movies I ever saw. I think I was four years old. My dad took me to see it, and I just loved it. Loved the story, loved the idea of being in space. I think I saw it ten times. Wow, you sure did love Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Then all the toys came out, so I started collecting the action figures. 
action figures. They're these little metallic figures, models of the characters in the movie. Oh, I see. And uh, which character did you like best? Oh, I was a Han Solo fan. <laughs> I think he was my favorite. Mm -hmm. You know, I still have that Han Solo action figure. <laughs> it's worth a lot of money now, but I like it because it was the first Star Wars thing I ever owned. So did you just collect the figures? Oh, no. I collected the figures first. Darth Vader, Luke, Obi-Wan Kenobi, R2-D2, and, of course, Princess Leia. Then I started collecting everything Star Wars. Spaceships, space stations, posters, videos. Well, you seem to have a lot of pieces in your collection. Um, about how many pieces do you have altogether? I'm not sure, because most of my collection is at my parents' house in Philadelphia. Right. I don't have the room for all of it here in New York. <laughs> right. But I'd say I probably have about 700 pieces in all. 700 pieces? How did you get so many? Well, you know, I'd ask my mom for the newest toys every holiday, every birthday, and the collection just grew and grew. I think they really liked Star Wars, too. <laughs> right. When I was a kid, my mom gave me Star Wars birthday parties and bought me Star Wars cereal for breakfast. I even had Star Wars pajamas and Star Wars underwear. <laughs> a real Star Wars family, then. You could say that. They even called our family dog Princess Leia. <laughs> and did you play with other kids who collected Star Wars stuff? No, not really. I like to play with all the things by myself. Right. I loved making up all these Star Wars stories about the characters. And, uh... and, and now... Are you in touch with other Star Wars collectors? No, I, I don't have the time, really. So, what are you going to do with your collection? I don't know. I'm not sure. Sometimes I think I might sell it. Other times I think I might just keep it and give it to my kids someday. Well, that would be something, wouldn't it? Thanks, Jeff. Tape script 10.9 1. How much coffee do you drink? At least six cups a day. That's too much. You shouldn't drink as much as that. Two. How many aspirins do you usually take when you have a headache? About four or five. That's too many. You shouldn't take as many as that. Three. How much do you earn? Not enough to pay all my bills. Four. How many people are there in your class? Forty. <laughs> I think that's too many. Five. Have you got any homework tonight? Far too much. I'll never be able to do it all. Six. How old are you? Seventeen. I'm old enough to get married, but not old enough to vote. Seven. When did you last go to the dentist? Mm, very recently, just a few days ago. Eight. Do you take milk in your tea? Just a little. <laughs>